how funny that a few years ago we talked about sliding head turning uh, and we were talking about machines that were very small, they were doing high volumes of components, small diameters, how things have changed. I'm here at Star GB in Derby. Uh, I'm looking at a machine that should be of interest to you if you machine larger parts but want to improve your productivity um, on those components. This is the SR38 Type B. Now this machine is a 38 millimeter uh, sliding head lathe. It does have the option to go up to 42 mil, would you believe? Uh, you can run either guide bush or non-guide bush. The whole idea behind this machine, you can have up to 40 tools so you can machine complicated parts very efficiently. You're looking at the tools here. Uh, the machine does come with a B-axis on this machine so you can do angled features and angled holes. This is actually the Type B version, which means that's fully programmable. The machine also has a Y axis. And on the back working here, we actually have um, eight working tools as well. And we also have a Y axis on that too. I did, I did say already, and I may be covering old ground, but 42 mil bar. This really is kind of bridging that gap between the fixed head and the sliding head market. And that's where I believe this machine appeals to people. It's a very heavy machine. It's a heavy duty machine. In fact, it weighs four and a half tons. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, the control, I don't need to go into too much detail here, but what I can tell you, it's got NC assist. It's also got um, the uh, Stars motion control on it. This here is the area where you change from guide bush to non-guide bush and vice versa reliably told here that this can be done in less than half an hour on this machine. So now we're aiming the mark, or now that the, the kind of goalposts are changing here, this machine is now uh, available and um, can offer engineers that are machining lower volumes of parts a solution. And that's key because it can be a, a high volume machine or a low volume machine. Uh, here's your parts conveyor. If you are making runs of components, obviously it's going to deliver your parts here. Uh, you've got your fire suppression on this machine, which is actually an option. But if you're running with neat cutting oils, it might be something that you that you choose to uh, that you choose to have. So it's a totally versatile solution, a twin spindle machine. Uh, the weight, the power, and the stability ensure the precision on this machine. Um, with the front or, or the front working area, you can you can obviously have the B-axis swing. You can do balance cutting. You can do diagonal machining. And on the rear, you can do cross drilling, diagonal machining. Just to mention a few uh, facts and specifics about the model, you've got 7,000 RPM on the main spindle with 11 kilowatts of power. How different is that to what you would have had on maybe a sliding head machine a few years ago? And you've got 6,000 RPM on the driven tools. This really is about application. It's about application. It's about actually changing the mindset in the way that you engineer your components. The sliding head lathe market is, is really opening up these days and we're finding a lot more of this type of machine being installed into the UK market and challenging those fixed head solutions because they can be a more productive method of making your parts. Now would you believe this particular machine here, the SSR38 Type B is available from stock. Uh, you could come here and actually bring star your components, show them what you're doing and see whether they can help you in reducing your cycle times. And as I say, it's not just about small parts anymore. We're talking about larger components. We're talking about more challenging materials. We can, we can tackle all those, or star can tackle all those thanks to not just the machine, but things like the HFT, high frequency turning software, which gives you better chip control. Uh, find out more about this model, plus some of the others that are available from stock, visit stargb.com.